The term pit bull includes a number of different breeds, and when treated harshly, they are notorious for being hostile. Mary Beth Knapp, director of the York County Humane Society, sees the discrimination firsthand. Everywhere I go, I see people walk across the street when I have a pit bull at an event. Um, they are the sweetest, gentlest creatures, um, just like any dog. If treated poorly, starved, contained in a small area, or forced to fight, they are going to become a different kind of creature. Newly drafted South Carolina legislation makes pit bull owners face possible penalization for choosing not to alter their pets. House Bill 3709 aims to help control the pit bull population by forcing owners to pay a $500 fee if their pet isn't sterilized and registered. Choosing not to results in possible penalties of a fine or jail time. The high level background of the bill um, took me a little by surprise because it focused again on the pit bulls. And the whole focus, what I understand it to be, is that they really wanted to focus on stopping the bad things happening. There has to be a better way. Um, I think it's a great start that they're even on the table, so I commend them completely for getting this on the table and having it be reviewed. According to the bill, pit bulls like Lambo are the most desired breed for dog fighting, but they also die faster in local animal shelters than any other breed in the state. Fertile dogs are more likely to lash out, so requiring registration protects both the public and their pets. My issue with that, however, is um, it's very good to sterilize, of course, um, spay neuter. Um, but we should say all pets should be spay neutered. Um, I don't know that finding someone in those areas um, will help us resolve this issue we have. I have a pit bull mix and if I wanted to adopt another one I wouldn't want to have to pay the fee and I overall think the bill is unfair. At this time the bill is still awaiting decision. Reporting for The Buzz, I'm Ellis.